Hi everyone and welcome to our tutorial on how to make uh, fat balls for your birds for the winter or suet balls. So in the winter when our little birds fly into the garden they're coming in looking for food and as the weather gets colder and it gets frostier and snow maybe on the ground the food sources are diminished and it's nice if we can supplement them with some extra food. So the usual things we feed them are peanuts, suet balls and some seeds and grains. So if you want to make your own suet balls it's quite easy. This is what some that we have made. And these are made by me uh, melting vegetable suet and adding to that some nutritious ingredients. So we have some seeds in there, we have porridge, we have a little bit of granola, we have dried fruit. And the process is very simple and I just used a bun case tray and some bun cases for to make ours so that we can give them a shape and we don't have to try moulding them into circles. And these can be treaded and hung from some branches or alternatively you can pop them into your feeder if you have one for suet balls and the birds will be able to eat them from that. So the ingredients for these are our um, vegetable fat and probably one of the most common varieties we've recognised would be a Torah which we use in our mince pies and in our Christmas pudding. So we have added that to our saucepan and I have dissolved that already. So it will melt very easily because it is a fat. Um, so that's the first thing that we do is just melt that and to that then we can add our dry ingredients and they're all highly nutritious. We've got some porridge oats and we have some, this is a sugar-free granola that's looking at, lurking at the back of our cereal press. So you find things around the house that you can use. We have um, some sunflower seeds, we could add them. Some dried fruit as well. So dried fruit is high in sugar and that's going to supply a good source of food for the birds. So whatever you have available, you can put in there. And you want to make sure that there's plenty of fat in it because it's going to bind it together. And when it sets, that's what's going to hold your food together. So when we have that done, we can let it cool slightly in the saucepan if we want. And then I'm just going to spoon it into our bun cases. And we have some that we've just made and I have seeds in those ones and you can see some. So they're going to have plenty of food. The birds for winter, so you can tap them down, make them nice and solid. And we have 12 of them made there. So that's going to feed the birds in our garden for a little while. So when they cool, they're going to set and at that stage then you can take them out and tread them or you can put them into your feeder. It's a brilliant project to do with kids because you can hang them near to your house, to your uh, kitchen window and watch the birds and observe what's going to come and visit. And you'll see our blue tits and finches and all the different small garden birds that we recognise. So that's our very quick video on how to make those. Again, as I said, this batch is ones we made yesterday. They're fully set. And they're ready to take out and hang so we're going to hang these in our garden and as the weather gets colder we're going to enjoy watching our garden birds eat them so thank you for joining us for our video and we look forward to coming back to you with some more take care